How to invest in cryptocurrency for the first time. This video is for you if you've never invested in your entire life. For the longest time, I was like, crypto, N no. That's for the crypto is your finance bros. Not, not for... <laughs> for me trust me before i was intimidated by the thought of bitcoin and all these jargons and buzzwords i didn't really care about investing but as i got older <laughs> i turned 20 like a month ago i'm not that old but i really wanted to invest in my financial future and crypto is the future you, you won't stop hearing about it on Twitter, so I thought I'd learn. And honestly, I've been obsessed. I personally researched and invested in over 20 protocols, coins, and projects that I personally believe in, and I'm about to share everything I've learned and how you can get started today. Yo! We're gonna make hot girl summer, hot crypto summer. Get that little coin, sis. I wanna see y'all thriving. All right, basics. What is Bitcoin and how does it work? So you probably heard of Bitcoin. It's the largest cryptocurrency and the most popular. By definition, Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that you can buy, sell, and exchange without any intermediaries. So no banks needed. People store their Bitcoin in something called a wallet. There's digital wallets and card wallets, which are physical like wallets, but they look like a USB stick. So the way Bitcoin works is say you want to buy a Bitcoin. Well, you don't go to a single bank. You don't go to a single person, okay? It's a decentralized network. That means the money is basically all around the world. What happens is you communicate to a miner. Miners are these computers that basically mine Bitcoin by solving cryptographic equations. You probably ran into a miner if you dated a finance bro at some point. You walk into their college frat room and you're like seeing a giant machine. You're like, what the fuck is that? That might be an Ethereum miner or a Bitcoin miner, whatever that is. So <laughs> I'm just speaking from personal experience, okay? You've probably seen one. You've probably heard of Bitcoin, but there's a bunch of other cryptocurrencies under the umbrella of blockchain technology. Blockchain is kind of like the sperm donor to all of these different currencies. <laughs> My friend Madeline came up with this analogy, okay? <laughs> Blockchain is kind of like the father, a sperm donor giving its technology to its children so they can thrive and live well and multiply. But Jade, what is blockchain exactly? So blockchain is a digital ledger, AKA a public database. Imagine you have a Snapchat group chat, okay? You know, on this app, I used to have a bunch of group chats with my friends in high school and we would just talk shit to other people and we would get in trouble because if you screenshot anything or you're typing something and then you disappear, everybody knows. All your actions are recorded on Snapchat and it can be sketchy if you accidentally say something you mean. Blockchain works the exact same way. Every transaction is recorded on the ledger. Because blockchain has no middleman, everybody can access this database and know what the fuck is up, who bought what, and there's no way to revoke and replace and destroy this information. Everybody has a copy of this public database. So this is how it works all together. So when Madeline purchases a Bitcoin, it goes to a peer-to-peer -peer network called a node. For Bitcoin, this is called proof of work. Proof of work is essentially when these nodes run their computer algorithms, so they verify this transaction. And once a network of nodes verifies a transaction, this block of data gets stored into the digital ledger, the public database. This block of data contains all the information on the transaction history, the amount, the user, the recipient. So then the block is added to the block chain and it's permanent and it's irrevocable and there's no way to destroy this information because it's decentralized on everyone's node and computer. So from start to finish, Madeline purchases Bitcoin, it reaches all these computers and now the transaction is finished. Alright, Madeline, we're gonna buy some Bitcoin. Let's go! Yay! Okay, the first step to buying Bitcoin is setting up your account. We're using Coinbase today. This is not sponsored. I just like it. They're like basically a giant cup. Have you heard of Coinbase? No. Oh, have you heard of Robinhood? Yes. The, the, the story? Like not, is it a, the story of Robin? <laughs> no, that's a financial trading app called Robinhood. I was like, oh, is it going to be a metaphor? Like steal from the rich, give to the poor? There's an app you need to download called Coinbase. I sent you the link, go download that right now. If you guys want $10 worth of free Bitcoin, all you gotta do is use my link below. It is an affiliate link, I get $10 worth of Bitcoin too. So, you know, let's help each other out. Typically with investments, you want to put as much as you're willing to lose. Because with blockchain, you really want to be in the for long haul because that's how you get maximum return. AKA, you don't want to put money you're gonna plan to take out next day. So. 20% is a good rule of thumb, however much money you make in a month times 0.2 and figure out how much you're comfortable if that number looks alright. So right now, Maddie, why don't you go to this, click the blue button, buy crypto with some cash. Which one do you want to buy? Well, I guess I'm doing Bitcoin. Good idea. Bitcoin's a good start. It's the largest one, so it's the less volatile. Make sure you do not buy Bitcoin cash. There's a lot of stuff that looks like Bitcoin, but it's not Bitcoin, okay? Make sure it's BTC, not BCH. It's all the same thing. Now, hit preview buy. So we can see here that the current Bitcoin is at 35,000. She's gonna buy it for $10. Coinbase does take a 10, 99 cent 
fee. This is one of the things that you will run into with buying currencies. Coinbase takes a fee. Woo! And Madeline has successfully purchased how much Bitcoin? Read it. Uh, 0.0002513. I want to end this video with one really important mindset, which is you might you might make money and you also might lose money. There's something called dips, okay, where your currency might be worth a dollar one day, the next day 50 cents, the next day three. This is the nature of cryptocurrency. You might lose half your portfolio in a day, but there's this mindset called holding or hodl. It's like this meme, basically, where you just want to not look at your portfolio every day. Do not check at it because you need to hold it for long term. Crypto can be volatile in its nature. It does go up and down quite a lot each day. Like sometimes my portfolio is like up a couple grand and sometimes it's down a couple grand. Okay. It really depends. So it's really important to hold out. Don't check it every day. Honestly, I don't even look. I don't have notifications on my Coinbase when my currency goes up and down. Like I don't put that on. I really recommend you guys turn it off because if you put in like any money, you will start to freak out and might want to like sell it immediately, but you don't want to do that. In 2016, 2017, I had a really good friend of mine buy a hundred Ethereums, okay? At the time, one Ethereum was worth $20. Five years later, one Ethereum is worth $2,400 from the recording of this video. Now, did my friend sell it when it's at $2,000? No, my friend sold it when it only hit $30 a year later because he was scared that the market was gonna crash and he was gonna lose all his money. So yes, my friend could have had a quarter of a million dollars today if he just didn't touch it, if he just waited it out, but instead he turned a profit of $3,000, which isn't bad. I mean, he made $1,000 from his start, but the thing with crypto is you have to have a long-term mindset. And I think the solution of it is to not check your notifications. Just save it and hold minimum a year. Personally, for me, that's what I'm doing. Just hodl, hodl. It's just hold it. <laughs> I don't know why it's a big name. Another thing to note is a question on the environmental impacts of cryptocurrency. Something super important to me is climate change. And I've done a lot of studies on the energy consumption so you guys can kind of see where I'm at. So essentially Bitcoin Ethereum uses proof of work, which takes energy to solve these cryptographic equations in order for these coins to be mined, right? And this energy is a lot. There's some studies that show, you know, that Ethereum's bad for the environment. But here's some data that will show you at which scale it is affecting. I got to interview a reporter at Coindesk and a few researchers from Cambridge University of Columbia. And there's data that shows that current Visa banking systems take more energy than Bitcoin has. Current banks and Visa transactions take energy to validate transactions, send it to another bank to get approved. And this back and forth process does take energy. And Bitcoin has been shown to be more energy efficient by 30%. And also not all energy from Bitcoin and all these currencies and proof of work are mined with coal, right? Like 30% of Bitcoin mining is from renewable energy. So hydro, solar, wind. That's something also to know that not all energy is coal and bad energy. But something super exciting in terms of energy consumption that is improving is Ethereum 2.0, which is basically going from proof of work to proof of stake. And essentially all these currencies are trying to move towards more energy efficient ways of mining. So instead of, you know, these computers mining these like cryptographic equations. It's using called proof of stake, which you guys can check out here. I'll leave a description on it. That's basically going to be a lot more renewable friendly and way more energy efficient. Personally, for me, I'm on the waiting list on Coinbase to stake Ethereum 2.0. If you guys would like a video on how staking works and what that is, make sure you comment below and I'll be sure to do that. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, I actually haven't sang the comment winner song in a while, but comment below your thoughts on this video. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and what you're investing in. Big picture is cryptocurrency is super valuable. Not only are you investing in financial wealth and things that can return you money over time, but you're investing in projects. Like a lot of these coins have protocols and actual business structure that are super interesting. There's a lot of coins that are social tokens, right? So they're, they're not just a currency, but there's some social element to get you community passes. And I think that cryptocurrency is at the very beginning and we're just starting. So even if you feel like you're behind, you're not, it's the early beginnings. And like I said, let's just make this a hot girl summer. Okay. No matter your current level of knowledge of cryptocurrency, I really highly encourage you to embark on this journey and trust me, you're not alone. Comment below if you're starting to invest for the first time and I'd love to see you. who's welcome to the fam. If you like this video, give this video a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys so much and peace.